Ah, uh, that's a good sound. Yeah. Okay. Flaps up, cabin air as we wanted, radio and comm, we'll get this set up. 700. Jacqueline Cochran, Regional Airport. Automated weather observation, 1539er, Zulu. Wind, 340 at 08. Visibility, 10. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 31 Celsius. Dew point, 02 Celsius. Altimeter, 2987. Remarks, density altitude, 1700. Already. Yeah, doesn't take much time, eh? Okay. Here we go. Go. Speed is live. Wow, she's so light. Yeah. No gas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, it always climbs so good. Thousand. I yeah. I don't get climb rates like this unless I'm flying the Piaggio. Really? Oh yeah, nothing nothing climbs that good in Utah. And the extra I guess maybe, but You're in a thousand at like well now I'm at like seventy five miles an hour. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah? Yeah, it's just very good performance. What do you get at, at uh, in the Satabria? Like maybe five hundred. Oh, wow. I'd be, like, freaked out. Yeah, it's not <laughs> always very fun. <laughs> Thermal That's traffic, Starbury 5 from the office, turning left cross, went 3-5. Thermal traffic. And that's at 18 gallons or less every flight. Still max gross weight, but... <laughs> Thermal traffic, Starbia 5, Romeo Alpha, turning left downwind, 3-5, departing the pattern, thermal traffic. And in terms of like altitudes and airspeeds and things like that, it's not perfection, it's just a, a guideline more than anything. Just okay. wanting to feel the airplane, feeling what it's doing. If you climb in a turn, I don't care. If you descend in a turn, I don't care. It's mostly just safety and just getting the idea. So okay. it's not, you don't have to pin an altitude, you don't have to pin an airspeed, like don't worry about that. Okay. So it doesn't, it, it's no hard and fast rules. So, nice trickle. All right, so that looks good to me. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is slow flight. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and pull the power back to about 15, 1700 or so. And you can start holding the nose up. So you just want to hold altitude, basically. The airplane's going to slow down. You're going to need more and more back stick as it slows down. Trim is your friend, yep. Good. Good, just keep getting it get real slow. Once it hits about 60 miles an hour, you can put the power back in to probably about 2,000, 1,900 RPM. Okay. Good, we may hear the stall horn. Normal traffic I'm expecting it. Zero zero, whiskey pop uh, left base, left traffic, runway 35, thermal. Good, feeling the stick get heavier. Good, trim Not on. really, because I have this trim in. Okay, well, <laughs> good enough. All right, is it getting close to about 60? About 60. Okay. Triple zero five, back back here on my one. So now you just want to give her enough altitude, or uh, enough power that she'll hold altitude. So this is back to your private pilot days. You had to do this, you had to demonstrate this. So just enough power for it to hold altitude. Our airplane likes 2000 down here with such good performance, I'm guessing somewhere between 18, 19 probably. But there's a little bit of left turn in tendency as you increase power. Yeah. Good, a little bit of the torque, so she'll need a little more right rider. Feel it kind of shaking just a little bit. There's a little baby buffet. Good. 
All right, see if we get the airplane even slower. Good. Good. About 50, 52. Okay. okay, so you can just hold this altitude and this airspeed. Let's go ahead and just make a 90 degree left turn. So no big bank angles, just nice easy banks, just so you can feel how mushy it is when it's real slow. How much rudder it's going to ask for. So the airplane likes to turn left, so it doesn't need a lot of rudder. Doesn't need any. Yep. So you've got that nice Better. big high angle of attack. It probably wants even maybe a little bit of right rudder sometimes. Right, it's right rudder, really. Yep. So just kind of feeling it. As if, if you're comfortable with that bank angle, increase it a little. There you go. Still feeling that little tickle. Yeah. Good. Nice. And you're fully in control, right? Airplane's totally responding to everything you're asking it to do. Yeah, yeah. And you're just right on the very bottom. <laughs> this is the slowest I've flown <laughs> in a long time, man. All right, go ahead and roll it out here. That's perfect. Good. Keep that airspeed nice and slow. Keep that nose up. Good. All right. Now, same thing to the right. So this time it should ask for more right rudder. Just nice, easy, slow flying. And you can just hold it right on as slow as you think it'll fly. If it stalls, it's no big deal. There you go. Yep. There you go. That's even slower. I feel that. Good. Awesome. So you feel the airplanes, I mean, especially the photographers, they're just like stupid controllable. <laughs> Perfect. Add a little more bank angle if you're comfortable. Perfect. Good. Very nice. Good. You're keeping it nice and coordinated. Nose is following along with the wings. I don't feel anything wonky back here. Nice. So you're doing just super slow steep turns, basically. Yep. So that's a skill in and of itself. I think it's harder, actually. Heck yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> Good. Wow. All right. That was interesting. Yeah, it is kind of cool, huh? So you can feel how mushy the airplane is. It takes a little bit more stick movement to get it to do what you want it to do. A little, little more bit. A little bit, but not much. Not much, and even the rudder, not much. Not as much as you think. Yeah, right. So now, you can go, we're going to a power off stall, just no power recovery. So you can just slowly bring the throttle to idle. You're just going to hold this pitch attitude, and the airplane's going to stall. All you got to do is just release the back pressure for it to fly again. So you're just going to hold it, hold it, hold it. Just hold that same pitch attitude. Eventually, she'll get there, get that stick nice and straight. There she goes. A little bit of left rudder. Aha! So you added, you had a little bit of left aileron in there, so I bumped the stick a little bit for you. Oh, okay. Did you feel the wing drop? Yeah. Obviously, yep. Oh, yeah. So my controls real quick. Okay. So I'm going to get your seatbelt out of my way. Okay, so we're just going to hold it here, and then if you keep that aileron nice and in the center, just staring right outside, just watching the nose. There it is. A little bit of, there she goes. There you go. So if you all work in the feet, just staying nice and easy, and then I just recover. The stall horn oh, goes off. Oh, wow. That's all she takes. So she's telling you, hey, I'm getting close, close, but... close this vent, because I don't want this uh, exhaust coming in here. Oh, yeah, smell it's the getting exhaust. nice and hot. But I'm going to open the other vent. That's fine. It's just the exhaust is on this side. And yeah, it gets to... hot, loud, and smink stinky. Well, I just don't want carbon monoxide in here. Carbon dioxide poisoning, <laughs> as Justin says. <laughs> So it's a very easy, easy, easy stall. So yeah. it, your airplane doesn't. So you know, I did this. I did that again, didn't I? I pulled uh -huh. it over to the right. Yeah, you pulled it a little. Your arm goes this way. Exactly. Yeah. So you have to be kind of conscious about it. So your controls again. My controls. Your controls. So go ahead and close the throttle when you're ready. Same thing. Stare off the nose and keep that nose pointed right at that mountain. That's way out there. Just working your feet to keep it there. You've got a little bit of left aileron, so I'm going to bring it to the center. That's oh. center right there. Don't. Oh, it is. That's center right there. I'm fighting you. Whoa. That's center. Good. That's center. Okay. That's center. I promise. Good, get a little bit of left rudder. Good. Good. Easy recovery, no big deal, right? Wow. Yeah, super cool. That was nothing. It's nothing at all. It's no big deal. So as long as you're keeping that stick centered, working your feet, if you just hold the nose right on that spot straight outside, it's not going to do anything goofy on you. Yeah. So the first time it did, the second time you were nice and tuned in, that was great. But, okay, so now we're going to do a power on stall. So what RPM setting are you at? Uh, eight, uh 19. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna keep the power right where it is and we're gonna stall it with the power in. So you're just gonna bring the nose up, hold it right about there and just hold the nose right there. She's gonna slow down eventually on you. Oh, okay. Although Satavrias do kind of hang on, so we may need more pitch than that, but we'll see. So Start keep, pulling back. Yep, it? keep that stick working back. Just keep it working back. Just hold that pitch attitude, a little bit of left rudder so that nose stays in the same spot. Good, 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 good. It's gonna drop off a little bit. So give her a little bit less right rudder little less. There you go. There you go. A little right rudder now. Good. Then you can give her a little forward so she shuts up. All right, good. So on that, did you... <laughs>
Did you see the nose moving slightly? Yeah. Yeah, and then it kind of angled toward the side that it was moving toward. So you're giving it just a little bit too much right rider on that. Okay. So go ahead and try again. So, okay. You know, let's uh, go let's back turn around, yeah. Okay. All right, so. The will be okay. You're at 1900 now? Uh, yes. Okay, sweet. All right, so same thing. Just pull it into that stall. Good. So right about there, just hold it there. The stick's going to keep coming back as you slow down, holding that positive angle, trying to hold that pitch attitude. Good. Nice job with the rudder. That feels nice. Good. Just holding it nice and easy. Nice and easy. Good. Keep kind of working your feet. A little bit less right rudder. See how it's kind of banking to the right a little? There you go. Good. Now it's going left, so it's going to drop left. So keep that nose just nice and centered. Good. Eventually she'll go here. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Come on. Five Romy Alpha. There she goes, a little bit of right rudder. Good, easy recovery, right? Yep. Yeah, they're super easy. And I use the aileron, so I shouldn't be doing A little bit, that. no, yeah, I'm gonna grab it here and keep you from doing it. Um, okay, so that'll lead us into the falling leaf. So the falling leaf is power off, and same thing, I, I kind of shortly demonstrated it a little bit with the power off, so my controls. Your controls. My controls. So this will be the one that's mildly uncomfortable, but it's no big deal. So we already kind of did it. And you've seen already the feet fixes everything. Yeah. So we're just going to hold it in a power off stall here. And I'm just going to hold the stick completely back. Yeah, it's got a little goofiness going on with the rigging, it feels like. But really? Yeah, it just it feels like it wants to turn. But that's okay. All right. So holding the nose, working the feet, working the feet. So there's the stall. The airplane's stalled. It's just holding it in a stall. And I'm just working the feet, whatever I feel like it might need. To keep it nice and easy, nice and easy. Okay, wow. So now if I get behind it, it's going to kind of roll. Okay. Come on. There she goes. So she needs some right rudder. This is going to get a little more aggressive. Some left rudder. And then it kind of goes this weird thing where you got to kind of catch her. Huh. Then if I don't want this to happen anymore, I just let go. <laughs> cool, huh? <laughs> 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 that's kind of fun, huh? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> All right, so your controls again. My controls. Yeah, you can climb her back up to four if she's not already there. Okay. Uh, so you're just going to do that. That cool, man. Yeah, it's cool, huh? Everything's recoverable with the rudder. It's no big deal. So you're punching and jabbing. Just a little bit, yeah. Mostly to, you know, kind of demonstrate. But it does need, I mean, you do not have a lot of airspeed over it. So you do need kind of those big deflections. Yeah. But it's just kind of working the feet, working the feet back and forth just to kind of hold it But you got to punch it. You can't be like kind of You can't of be like late. No. Late you got, or yeah. slow. Yeah. Just like when you're taxiing for the first time in a tailwheel, you have to anticipate. It's the same thing. So you're still kind of feeling as much as you can what wing is going to go and trying to stop it before it goes. And then, like I said, if you get late, it's going to do that big wing drop like that, which is fine. It's recoverable. You just need more rudder. So okay. it's no big deal. What altitude are we? Almost four. Almost four. Okay. Sounds good. What did that other guy call out? I don't know, but I'll look for him. I think okay. he said he was departing. Do we have anybody nearby? Nope. Okay. It's empty. Okay, good. And thermal traffic begins at 502 with the Papa turning final runway. Oh, he's just out there doing patterns, yeah. Or something. Okay. All right, so once you're at four and you're ready, go ahead and pull the throttle to idle. 510 west, 7000, we're descending east for High Desert. Uh, for High Desert Hospital, Yucca Valley. Okay. All right, so throttle all the way idle. You're just going to pull it into a power off stall and you're going to hold it there. And I'm going to keep the stick back with you. And then all you're going to do, I'm going to follow you on the rudders, but you're just going to hold it nice and easy in that stall. So the feet are essentially flying the airplane. So you're just holding it, holding it, waiting for the stall to come. It takes forever in this airplane. We'll power off all the way? Yep, all the way idle. It's going to stay idle, so now you don't need any power for anything. Good. Keep kind of focusing on that point outside, holding that nose nice and straight ahead. Keeping that aileron nice and centered right there. I know it feels weird. I think you're out of rigging. Good, good, good. There's the stall. We're just going to hold that stick right there. Just keep working your feet. Nice job. Nice job. Beautiful. Good. A little bit of left rudder now. Good. A little right. Kind of the wing. Step on the high wing. Good. Step on the left rudder. Step on the right rudder. Left oh, rudder. Wow, right rudder. awesome. Yeah. So now get a little behind the airplane. Just kind of let it do something for a second. Good. Now catch it. Now get some left rudder in there. It's going to kind of wang over a little. Oh, you did a better job than me. Good. Now some right rudder to catch it. Good. Pass the left rudder to catch it, wow, good. Right rudder cool. to catch it, yeah, that's all it does. Now wow. just release the stick and she'll stop. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. That's sweet, huh? 
Airplane's totally flyable. Totally flyable. <laughs> it's still flying. It's not. <laughs> Technically, it's not flying because the wings are stalled, right. but it's still controllable. You still have a lot of control. So you can feel. And this feel, whole time I'm going like with no power here. Yeah, exactly. It's just meh, just screaming at you the whole time that it's stalling, but it's no big deal. No big deal at all. Cool, huh? Oh, I love this airplane so much. Isn't that awesome? It's so controllable. You can really get yourself into some situations, and they're very recoverable. Absolutely. That's about as bad as I can imagine right there. Yeah, just holding it in a stall. No all we're doing, we're just stinking, sinking down into the ground, right? Yeah, and it just, just is happy to do whatever you ask it to for the most part. That yeah. is... It's pretty cool, huh? An eye-opener. Yeah. All right, so let's climb up back up to four, and we'll do the cross-controlled stall. So this one's pretty benign. Uh, that's about the most intense thing we'll do today is a falling leaf, so. Really? All right, so my controls, I'll demonstrate the first one. Okay, your controls. My controls. So I'm going to put myself on something I can see a little better out the window, which is this mountain out to the right. All right, so. Like you're coming in, slipping to land. We don't have flaps in or anything for this. Just, just too much to worry about. So we're going to go power idle. I'm going to put it in just a little bit of a slip. We're just going to hold the slip to a stall. So as the airplane slows down, I need more and more control input. So more right rudder, more left aileron to hold the slip. Yep. And I'm just kind of slowly bringing the nose up, just trying to hold the nose in the same position. It's going to stall here eventually. There's a little baby bit of a buffet. Yep. There she goes. That's all she's feeling, just buffeting. Yep. That's all she's going to do. That's all she's going to do. And it's completely uncoordinated. See what? that? And then all I want to make it stop, I just let go of the stick and it stops. <laughs> Unreal. Crazy, huh? This plane just flies. Well, yeah. it, so now that I big see high wing loves it, to fly. And in a slip, you ain't going to stall. No, and even if you do stall, it should just fall straight ahead. Well, right. If you're doing right. it right. Yeah, exactly. Right. So it's no big deal. The airplane's, again, very controllable. Or if you don't like it, just get out of it. And the air, that wing catches on to the, the air so quickly. Right. A stall generally in this airplane is not going to get you into a whole lot of trouble. Right. All right, so your controls. My controls. All right, we have around 4,000-ish? Uh, 4,300, uh, 3,800. Okay, just grab the last 200 feet there and I'll have you do the same thing. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? This is not as bad as I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be much more extreme. Nah, nah, these airplanes are very, very capable. And pretty docile, she doesn't snap into anything. The extra flips you over, but this one won't. All right, so what power Good. setting? Um, we're going to go to idle. So all the way to idle. Good. And then you're going to put it into a forward slip like you're coming into land. Kind of pick a point outside that you want to keep that kind of heading toward. Good. And now you're just going to kind of slowly, gradually work the stick back, kind of keep your nose right on that same heading. Try not to let it turn. Good. There you go. Good. It's going to eventually stall in here. Just gonna, there's the horn. Keep kind of working the stick. Good, good, she's getting there. There's a baby bit of a buffet. Good, keep that stick back. Good, it's gonna be pretty much all the way in your belly. Good, you keep working there. There's the shutter, there's the stall. That's it. Nothing. Nothing. No big deal, very recoverable. Oh, cool, huh? Wow. Yeah, this is what makes the Tabria so awesome. It's unbelievable. Yeah, cool, huh? So that's cross-controlled, power on, power off, falling leaf. Um, we can do accelerated stalls if you'd like. That's a little bit of g edge. Okay. Um, so we need some speed and some G for that one. Okay. Um, but the point being that the airplane can stall at any airspeed, any attitude. I so, would like to feel what that's like. Okay, sounds good. So I'll fly the first one, so just kind of be prepared. There's going to be some speed and some G. Okay. Um, and we'll see if we can't get her to stall. These are okay. kind of hard. Sometimes they just won't, so well, you got to work pretty hard to get them to do it. So okay. if it ends up being too much G, I'll just come out of it. But, okay. All right, so my controls. Your controls. My controls. So we're good on fuel. We're probably within the weight and uh, CG category now for aerobatics. So. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm just going to kind of let her gain some speed here. I'm going to pull the power back just a little because I don't know what the proper PM is. All right, so we're going to roll into a steep turn here. And we're going to pull. See if she'll do it. Wow. There's the horn, and then you can recover at the horn. Wow, okay. So I don't know what airspeed that was, but we're probably still well within flying speed right now, right? Oh, and you heard yeah. the stall warning it was only horn, like right? 110 or something. Yeah, and you heard the horn. Before we've been hearing the horn at what, 40? Yeah. So G load wow. increases stall speed pretty significantly, yeah? Could you do that again? Yeah, for sure. Uh, what altitude am I? Uh, 4,000. 4,000, okay, yep. So same thing. I'm just going to go kind of wing it over for some extra speed here to the right. Okay. 
kind of pull the power out a little. Let the nose gather some speed. One turn. Okay. Alright, so we're going to roll into a higher turn here. And we're just going to pull, 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 pull. Where's the stall warning horn? See, sometimes she won't give it to you. There she goes. And then you just come out of it. So we got down to about 100. About 100? Ooh, okay. That made me a little, uh... Little wiggle wag, wag caddy wampus? Yeah. All right, you take her. Your controls. Okay. You fly around for a minute. Okay. Uh, so that's the accelerated stall. So that's what we're amazing. demonstrating, yeah, the airplane can stall at any airspeed, any altitude, or yeah. any attitude. Sometimes it just takes some G to make it happen. But you're going to get that stall horn way before, so yes. there's no buffet or anything. No, so the stall warning horn is nice in this type of airplane because it's going to tell you before it happens. In our airplane, you just have to feel because yeah. there's no horn. Okay. Um, so that airplane, you end up pulling a lot more and actually hitting the stall. Gotcha. If you stall those coordinated, they'll go dead ahead every time. Those are when you start to get it. That's like the base to final turn, kind of. Yeah. It's a little bit of an accelerated stall situation. Uncoordinated, that's when it'll kind of roll over. The Satabris don't do a very good job demonstrating that, but the extra does a great job. But you know, so, you know, and I was always thinking about when I was doing my 45 degree turns, and real, I felt like I was really pulling. Apparently, I really wasn't. Uh, yeah, she and can handle just, a lot. And I was wondering if it was going to go close to a stall at some point. Um, just kind of wondering, but now yeah. I know. I'm glad yeah. we did that It'll because warn I was you. far from it. Oh, so far, so so far. Yeah, they. they it, she needs a lot. You'd be if you're not trying to do it, you'd be uncomfortable. You know. Yeah. Uh, it would be to the point of like, okay, what's you know what's going on? Same thing with like a power on stall. If my nose is that high on a takeoff, I could pretty much assume that I'm doing something wrong. Yeah. You know. You gotta like try. You gotta try. You gotta be intentional to do exactly. that. Exactly. And you know, maybe it's in some super windy conditions, but yeah, you gotta be kind of you know you're locked up on something or you're not paying attention or you know you got the trim set wrong or I don't know. But. But yeah. even then, I but would even think then, the tank, I instinct would think, is put the nose down. Yeah. Because yeah, it looks two, weird. Five, well, and even if you get distracted uh, or something, I would think we are headed to JFK Hospital I mean, Single Bell Four Seven. You still gotta try really hard. Yeah. You still gotta try really hard to get them to do that. It's these wings, especially on the Satabrias, love to fly. They yeah. don't like to let go. Yeah. You gotta really get them to. So they they just fly all day long. That's why we suck at the acro competition so hard, is because these fat wings just love to fly. <laughs> so how many G's do we pull there? Uh, probably like two, two and a half. Two and a half. That's the most I've ever pulled for sure. I mean, I felt it on my face. Oh, okay. If you feel it on your face, that's probably about three. Okay. Yeah. That's no, usually kind of that, that was. That was Oh, it's kind of a lot, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's more than I've ever felt on a roller coaster or anything else. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah, it kind of gets to you a little bit. Yeah. Um, let's turn around. So we've made it through all the stalls and stuff. Um, we can do some nose high just getting the procedure of the um, push-pull route power thrust. Or, okay. Oh, my goodness. Push, roll, thrust, stabilize in. Very easy, easy very easy, very gentle. This is just a procedures builder. Okay. So I'm going to demonstrate the first one, then it's all you. All I'm going to do is just put the nose high. That's it. So... So I'll let you turn push. me around. So push, roll, thrust, stabilize. Or push, roll, power, stabilize. So I'm going to push the stall away, make sure the airplane's level with roll, and then get the power to full because I don't want to stall, and then get it back to straight level flight, stabilize. Okay. So it's super easy. I'm just with my controls. Your controls. All I'm going to do is just get the nose a little high, so we need a little bit of speed for that. All right. So for whatever reason, I end up in some sort of upset that looks like this. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is push the stall away. I want to make sure the wings are level, thrust so I don't get slower, and back to level flight. Oh, okay. Very easy. Okay, so I'm going to have you do it now. So I'm going to set you up and then say recover. Okay. So I'm going to get you some speed here. It's very easy. Good. So here comes a little baby bit of pull. All right, so I'm going to pull your power to idle. So first thing you're going to do is your controls. Push. My control. Push, roll, thrust, stabilize. Really easy, right? It's natural. Oh, nothing. Yeah, it's just like a usual attitude recovery you did for private pilot. Yep. Very easy. So now I'm going to bring the nose a little higher this time. Okay. So my controls. Your controls. I'm going to turn us around as well. I kind of wing it over for a little bit of speed here. All right, here comes a little baby bit of a pull. All right, recover. So push. Roll, thrust all the way in, and stabilize back to level flight. Very easy, right? Easy. Yeah, super easy. All right, not so now. Not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. So now we'll do just a little bit of a nose down. Okay. So my controls again. Your controls. My controls. I'm going to bring you to idle this time. So this time I want the power to come out, and I'm going to be pulling a little more than just pushing at the end, right? Okay. So there's a nose low. Ah, I see the ground. 
All right, so recover. So it's going to be push a little bit, roll, make sure the wings are level, power stays idle, and pulling to the horizon as much as you're comfortable. Okay. There you go. Now power can come back in at the horizon because I probably want to initiate a climb and get the hell away from the ground. So now I can put the power in because we're now we don't want to put it into a stall condition. So power okay. in. And that's it. Okay. Very easy. All right, so my controls, I'm going to set you back up in another one of those. Okay. So you can do that. This time I'm going to put the power in so you have to take it out. Okay. Same thing, just kind of winging it over so the speed doesn't increase a whole, whole lot here. All right, so your controls, so push, push good, roll, roll, power idle, and pull. Back to stabilized flight, as much as you're comfortable. Good, power comes back in at the horizon, and you're recovered. Very easy, That's right? It. That's it. So those awesome. scenarios get more and more kind of aggressive as you get more and more aggressive with the with the attitude, right? Yep. So this time I'm going to do one for you that's either going to be a nose high or nose low. You'll probably be able to tell pretty early. And I'm going <laughs> to add some bank so you actually have to roll out of it, okay? Okay. Okay, so my controls. Your controls. My controls. Baby bit of a pull. Baby bit of a roll. All right, so recover, so push, roll, back to level, thrust all the way in, 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 well, and thrust all the way yeah, yeah, <laughs> keep that stall away, there you go, yeah, good, all right, you ready for one more, yeah, all right, my controls, your controls, my controls, Whee! all right, recover, so push, roll, good, thrust all the way idle, and stabilize. Pull it as much as you're comfortable. You want to get away from the ground. Good. Good, good, good. Power in at the horizon. And you're recovered. Easy, right? Nice. Yeah, super easy. So then from there on out, we just build and build and build and build on that to near verticals, past verticals, um, and inverted. Awesome. Sweet. All right, you ready for our grand finale, a roll yes. or a loop? Yes. All right. So I'll do the first, um, do you want to do a roll or a loop first? Loop is more G, roll is more likely to get you feeling some type of way, so up to you. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, we'll do a roll first, those are easy. All okay. right, so my controls. Your controls. Um, I'm going to, what altitude am I? Uh, 4,000. 4,000, okay. 41. Okay, we got plenty of altitude. So I'm going to roll it out here, we're going to point it kind of at this mountain out here. Um, I'm going to need about 130 off the nose, so if you'll let me know when I'm there. Okay. And we'll go for it. 110, 120, 130. All right, so nose is going to come up. Feet on the horizon. Left aileron, left rudder. <laughs> Neutralize. Back to level flight. That's wow. it. Wow. All right, your controls. My controls. Your controls. So the world goes around. Okay. Just like that. So what altitude are we? 4,000. 4,000, okay. Okay, good. So power pretty much needs to be full. Okay. Um, so 130 off the nose. Okay. 130. Okay, go ahead and pull the nose up so your feet are pretty much right about, there's good. Left rudder, left aileron, all the way over. Good, good, good. Hold it, 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 hold it. And back to level flight. Just like that. Oh, baby. <laughs> that is some fun. That's sweet, huh? Yep. So, pardon my language, but generally when we fly those aileron wheels, we call it bitch slap the stick. Because okay. you don't want to okay. add any forward or any backward pressure, otherwise you barrel it, which is fine if that's what you're trying to do. So we added just a baby bit of back pressure, and I don't know if you heard oh. me pull the power on the backside because it started to I dive. Oh, yeah. yeah, so you just want to kind of make sure you're chewing it. I just do an open face palm, and I slap the stick like that, basically. Oh, okay. Uh, so... If you need to put your hand on it, obviously, to grip it, that's one thing, right? But, um, yeah. Okay. All right, you want to try another one? Uh, no, I'm good. Let's do a roll, a uh, loop. A loop? Come back? All right, sounds good. So this one's going to be a little bit of G. I'm sorry, I have to because I need speed at the top. Yeah, of course. Um, so it's going to be about four, three and a half Gs at the beginning. So just kind of squeeze your legs. Um, am I at four? What? Am I at 4,000 feet? Uh, 4,300. 43. Okay, that's plenty. All right, so my controls. Your controls. Let me know when I hit 140. Go, kind of an aggressive dive for less altitude loss. 120. Good. 130. Good. 140. All right, here comes the pull. All right, eyes look out the wing. Out of the wing. Good. Gonna float the top a little bit. There's the world coming around. Good. Power's coming out. 
good. And now I'm just going to set the stick right here. Here comes War G. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And back to level flight. Power comes back in. Woo! Mama! <laughs> That's a lot of squeeze, wow. huh? Just like that. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Are you ready to go back? I'm ready to go back. All right, you got the controls, your flight controls. I got the flight controls. <laughs> All right, you go ahead and take her back. All right. Nice job. That was awesome. <laughs> now you've rolled your airplane. Yeah. It's probably been a long time since this old girl seen the world upside down, huh? Well, and you know, it's funny because I didn't, I didn't really know what was going on, like you said, so I started going towards the ground. I mean, I was just watching the world. Spin. No, that's perfect. You're not supposed to do it perfect the first time. <laughs> that's that's literally what every person does. So there's nothing unusual about oh, that. Oh, okay. It's, it's common. So common. That is funny. Yeah, I'm starting to feel the effects. <laughs> yeah, it catches up with you quick. So if you need me to fly at some point in time, that's fine. Let me know. Otherwise, you've got her. Just yeah, get some airflow on her and, you know, look at the horizon. Yeah, get those back open now that we're not blowing exhaust in here anymore. Woo! Ooh, these are nice and close to the airport, so that helps, too. Yeah. But these people out here are probably like, what the hell is going on? There's an airplane that's going to crash out here. <laughs> nice, nice job. Good Thank job. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, we didn't use much fuel. Nope. We've only been up, I think, for about a one point. Like I said, it's a pretty short flight. Uh, 48 minutes since yep. I turned the timer on. Yep, so. Wow. Fun, huh? That was incredible. <laughs> so hopefully you learned something about your airplane today. I learned a lot about the airplane today. Mostly that you got to try to hurt yourself in it. Yeah. Well, and it's, yeah, it's just so much more than I thought that yeah. This airplane will continue to challenge you until the day you stop flying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is great. It's good because it keeps making you a better pilot. Whee! <laughs> Too bad. Uh-uh. I'm going to get this window open. Oh, On yeah. the left when you have a second. You got the... Yeah, I got the back one. Thank you. Ah. Oh. Feels good. <laughs> it's hot. 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 So hot. It's so, so hot everywhere. So, forewarning, I usually feel worst once I'm on the ground. Okay. Um, so, you and I share some of the same genes, so I wonder if you're the same, but I usually feel worse after I've landed, actually, so... It may, yeah, it may build up a little bit and then get worse, but a good soda always helps me out. Okay. Carbonation. But yeah, my tummy is telling <laughs> me, hey, what, what are you doing up there? <laughs> yeah, it's a little goofy. But that's First interesting. I've never felt G's on my face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it feels funny, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I can see how you would pass out past, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've kind of... I've gotten close to just kind of a little bit of gray in, yeah. you know, once or twice in the extra, and so you just kind of release the back pressure and just say, ah. What a day. I've been looking forward to this for so Yay. long, and it did good. not disappoint. Yay, good. Awesome. Good. And I'm just, and you're an incredible instructor. Oh, well, thank you very really, much. Your, ex your explanations are so good, and... You know, when you say the little tickle and all this, and I mean, yeah. you know what's happening. Regional uh, traffic, uh, 55 on CRJ. We you were know what's going to uh, happen, so you uh, uh, 550 are so good at it. I mean, it helps me a lot to, to anticipate or have it explained as it's happening, just before it's going to happen. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and, um, that helps so much. Oh, so, okay, well, good. You know, I know. Yeah, but, uh, try not you to know, surprise you. So really, I mean, I can, like, fight or pilot this thing around. Oh, yeah, you're not going to hurt anything. If you steal a saw warning horn, just stop pulling. Yeah, and that the, the, actually one of the funnest things is when you did the high speed stall in a turn. Yeah, it's fun, huh? <laughs> so that was cool. The I mean, pulling stall. the crap out. I mean, going, you know, getting it going about 120 and then yeah. pulling the crap out of it in yeah. a turn. Yeah, uh, yeah. That was pretty neat. That's cool, huh? Yeah. It's yeah. These these little airplanes are tough, man. They can take. I mean, this is probably the hardest this airplane's worked in who knows how long. But yeah. they can. They're built. You know, they're built for it. And there's a reason why that you know that poster does say you can hot dog it around. 
Yeah. Because you can. You can really hot dog them around. I had no idea. Yeah. I mean, my, my mind it couldn't even comprehend. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're a lot of fun. And I found that I'd make people sick faster if I didn't tell them what was about to happen. So yeah. Yeah, that I came with that. some practice of like telling them, okay, there might be a little bit of a pull here, or you might feel this, or whatever, because otherwise they'd be like, oh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'd have to go back. But it's, um, yeah, many, many hours of just learning the Cetabria of what it's going to do. And so as far as when it starts to tickle and all that kind of stuff, yeah. is it the same as the other one? Yeah, just about. Come and traffic, I don't know, uh, you might be able to see it in the video, and I usually will have... 3,600 um, down to 2,700 on a extended downwind for only 3,500. He's used to talking to tower, isn't he? Um, the uh, I will sometimes have you have hold it in like a pretty nose high attitude with um, some power just right on the buffet and have you look at the tail and you can see the tail shaking and moving and that's oh, where you're getting no the buffeting way. and the stick. Yeah, well, we're going to be able to see that. In that yeah, so camera. I was going to say you'll probably be able to see it on the GoPro. Uh, that's what be cool. what it was doing. Yeah, so you can kind of see the flight controls. You're going to be able to see the rudder moving on yeah. the falling leaf and everything. So it'd actually, be, I don't have any video of anything like that. So that would be cool to see actually. Yeah, that's why I love that one because you can yeah, see the whole plane. see the whole airplane. So it'll be cool. Um, I'm curious to see. Hopefully it lasted all the way through the yeah, loop so. and everything, but if not, we'll just have to go again, so. 